Hi pals, it's me, Artie, Day Long Pronouns Only. Um, I've got a bit of a weird setup right now. I'm trialling something new where um, I use the backwards camera. Unfortunately, thanks to me trialling out the backwards camera, the audio is also bad in this video. So I apologise, I'm not going to do that again. I don't know why the audio is so bad. I tried to make it better in editing but i don't have superpowers because i don't know shit about any of this anyway which i don't do but like <laughs> i've been able to like get it on my laptop so i can sort of see the framing it's not great it's probably a better way of doing it i just thought i'd test it out for this video because clearly we are in um a low low budget era um i'm always in a low budget era don't know <laughs> where that came from but like i'm just having another one of my like quarterly crises slash mental health breakdowns again you know just casually <sighs> and um a lot of things have been like making that work finished my steps course a few weeks ago which was you know basically every week for six months and that was sort of like i didn't realize quite how much I depended on on that as like my almost like the one bit of like social interaction I could rely on I guess you know we've had this conversation so many times over the years I literally made a video a while back about you know alexithymia and realizing that usually when I feel this terrible it's because I am lonely <laughs> basically or like at least feel alone and yeah i'm just back in that sort of space again almost every week for two hours ish maybe a bit more depending on the week i had like five six other people that i was chatting to um and getting to know and like whilst we do have a group chat and we do sometimes post in there and chat it's not the same as like just kind of casually seeing each other every week because we have had to be there also like i've been <laughs> trying to do my hair this weekend so it is in a bit of a mess right now because my money pieces are fried i have been putting in hair oil and shit in the front and i am due a bath i don't look or feel my greatest uh in you know many <laughs> Many ways, no, no eyebrow makeup on either. Me trying to edit this video with an auditory processing disorder is so hard. So I hope this isn't too difficult for you to hear and understand. Um, I, I may have to get someone to caption this one, like for sure, like sooner than. <laughs> sooner than the others like i may need to do that it's it's really i said these words and i listen to myself talking all the time but like the multiple <laughs> distortions and interference of my own voice is so hard to understand what i'm saying and i already have struggles anyway when the audio is better because i slur my words sometimes this is just like i yeah in a fish tank but also with like crazy static this is so <laughs> this is also so typical of like the topic i'm talking about or topics i'm talking about in this video is i'm struggling with everything and then of course the video of me venting is fucking awful audio quality help me the most i've done is literally moisturized and i re re dyed my eyebrow hair like i have naturally dark hair but my hair is also very fine so sometimes if because i always have like excess dark brown hair dye when i'm dyeing my greys because that was the main reason my hair really needed like a re, re dye of uh all the grey hair I have at nearly 30 years old. Um, I always have loads of excess, so I'll do a little eyebrow top up. Um, so my eyebrows are a little bit darker than they are normally. Um, and then my little spot patch, because 
I woke up with just this one spot on my face. So yeah, like there's been a lot of things that I've been struggling with at the moment. One of them, yeah, is that the, the loneliness. Um, I don't really get enough in-person interaction with friends or even people I don't really know very well on like a casual basis because I'm kind of always stuck here. Um, and if I'm not stuck here, uh, a lot of the times I've been let down. Things don't really go to plan for one reason or another. And like I've said before, not many people I know drive or have a car if they do know how to drive. So a lot of people can't really get here or even near here. One of my steps friends did come and <laughs> come keep me company one weekend that I was on my own, which was nice because I'm filming on a Sunday. Most of the most of how I usually do. Most of the most of how I usually do. Most of the most of how I usually do. What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> uh, yesterday I had a really long, like, nice video call with my friend Sophie because she, she's been kind of missing in action here and there so it was nice to have, like, just a one-on-one -on -one gremlin catch-up and we just tried shit about all sorts of shit which was really nice but then I had a huge breakdown that evening. I've been spending quite a lot of time alone at home with sometimes not with the dog but mostly with the dog and whilst i i love my dog so much um unfortunately i am just not physically able enough to be able to take care of her reliably things have been okay recently with taking care of her when it's just me but this weekend was just like it was too much i decided i wanted to try and learn to use the drill by myself so that i could drill my like log slice um art home decor kind of things so you have to drill a hole to be able to put the like uh screw hook in so that they can be hung up and that basically took all of the patience i had yesterday learning how to do that and having to repeatedly drill holes of different sizes because each size was still wrong and we're starting to split the log slices so I had to stop and I had to like try and fill the the splits with some of the lacquer that I use and wait for that to dry and then drill again and trying to learn how to change the drill bits like I I, I am not a DIY girly <laughs> I've never really had to be however because things are just like generally chaotic at home <laughs> it was just one of them things where i was like you know what i could learn how to do that it's like it can't be that difficult once you know what you're doing and what you need to be doing and like yes now i know it's probably not going to be hard next time but it was really really hard <laughs> um because yeah it was troubleshooting by myself uh messaging my mum and then sometimes having to go and ask my granddad for some help it is all done now but like that whole palaver basically just used all of my patience and energy and i was trying to i also obviously used quite a lot of energy talking to my friend sophie on our video call i was trying to make food and that just went to complete shit and that, like that's when i just kind of had my complete breakdown because it was it was around like 5 30 ish when it was starting to just be like too much and everything was going wrong and it's just a lot to keep being faced with being the kind of disabled that can't just do a lot of basic home stuff like over the last year or so i've been trying to take on slash try out more home tasks as well etc because I want to help but a lot of the home tasks are things that just like don't compete with my brain or don't compete with my body and that just makes things really hard and makes you feel really useless and really unhelpful and makes you feel worried that people will just think that you're being useless on purpose or not even trying and the worry of like what if i don't have this support system down the road uh and obviously as well like just, just so many things have just been going wrong like so many small things just keep going wrong constantly like almost every day inconvenience of that sort of stuff repeatedly happening
the weather <laughs> being so hot you know, you think you're gonna die and then awful in the other direction like we've been occasionally getting really awful stormy moments chasing more prescription problems uh my injections prescription wasn't ready and i had to chase them and i was down to my last two injections when usually they would have already contacted me by now to arrange the delivery and i also um i think one of my injections in this last batch uh didn't work so i'm like i reported that back to the people so it's like did you not report that to the people who do the prescriptions that i'm also then down an extra injection the ones i use are pen ones like you'll see in old videos where you like just push it to your stomach or your leg and then you just click a button on top and it just auto does it um and that that button just wasn't doing shit it just wasn't doing anything i'm going away again for a week in spain for my birthday this time we're going going in like late september instead of my actual birthday week um and trying to prepare for that as well has been hell because you know last time i was preparing for going to spain especially with the medical cannabis side of things was dreadful. I sent an email to my medical cannabis clinic on the Monday asking for the travel letter I need that I need to then send to the Spanish medical agency or whatever it is with all of those really co like complex details that they required and I didn't hear back until the Friday at like, like quite late too, like definitely after 3pm um, and the email was just so frustrating it was just like did you read my fucking email because <laughs> my email said going to spain this is what spain requires you fill in for me to be able to go yeah they were like oh ask us again a week before you leave and it's like you are taking the piss it's taking you five days just to reply to my email why would i think that you're actually going to provide a travel letter in this much detail that probably requires like uh, a clinical member of staff to also fill some things in like why would i think you're gonna get that to me in time but also that's just not how it works for spain they require a lot of this stuff like so many weeks in advance and if anything me doing it now at like you know 16th or whatever of august is actually kind of late still um i think last year i, I did everything within the month and that was just not enough time as well as all of the issues of just misunderstandings so i thought yeah i said that but also like i had this whole conversation literally last year and they were like yeah we're gonna definitely like change how we do travel letters because this is a lot of information required for spain and it's like a lot of people especially from the uk like go to spain for their holidays like it's uh short flights like relatively um you can usually get like a quite a cheap place to go or you can go somewhere really expensive and fancy if you wanted to there's loads of family options you know it's the sun the beach um pools you know all that sort of thing or like the nightlife clubbing and stuff if you're on like that side of what you prefer as a holiday you know like there's probably a lot of people who are on like the uk medical cannabis schemes and stuff who go to spain and it's like yeah you can't just give us a basic thing it's just you know it's that repeated issue of like constantly having to teach services that are meant to be helping me how to do their job and then their response back to me was like well we can't add this particular medication because you don't have a prescription it's like well it's an old medication that i was uh, like prescribed here like end of last year that doesn't mean i don't have a fucking prescription though and i decided to call i decided to call them because like i'm gonna lose my fucking mind it always seems to be the same person emailing me as well um, all of, all the time so like is there nobody else who answers the emails is that why it takes five days for an answer and it's just yeah so i called and it did get sorted out that person was really nice and really helpful and was like yeah i think we should definitely have like a at least a separate template for spanish travel letters because like i said a lot of people go to spain and they are really particular like i said to her i was like yeah i have to send all these documents to them in pdf format like they're they're so particular you have to send everything in pdf format as well like like i said you have to send it a lot sooner than the week before you go because you're applying for like with them you're applying for a license whereas like when i went to norway you just go <laughs> there was nothing specific you needed to do you just needed to take the evidence that it's your weed. 
that's just some of the recent stuff. I'm also still really struggling with um, adult social care. I had a PA ready, but everyone who was supposed to be supporting me just basically failed me. I've been on their sort of like books for the last couple of months and uh, just hadn't really been told a lot of things. So when I was told a bunch of stuff, I then didn't have time or ability to actually check and sort those things out. Um, and then, yeah, within literally seven days, that PA was offered more hours so wouldn't be able to work with me. So then I had to start the search again. I have met somebody else in person who was really nice and I'm trying to go forward with, but now we're just waiting for like everything to be approved and okayed so she can just start fucking working ASAP. But I like I just don't know how it's gonna go. There's also another PA I would really like to hire and work with, but like when I literally have two hours a week, like people don't wanna work with me. <laughs> because it's literally only two hours a week. And I get it, especially as the PAs get further and further away. They do cover mileage and stuff too, but you know, you don't really want to be driving over half an hour one way for two hours of work, you know? Um, and like, I understand and respect that, but also I'm not allowed to just have a virtual PA anyway. I don't really know how to go about the process of requesting more hours. Like, again, that's another thing I've been told different things about. Someone said, oh, you get a review at six weeks. Somebody else said you get a review at three months. Uh, somebody else then said, oh, well, you can just request more hours to your social worker. I'm like, well, she didn't want to give me more fucking hours. <laughs> but like, I had a whole conversation with somebody that, you know, they were like, oh, do you, do you want them to, like the PA to, take you to appointments I was like well ideally I would like that to be an option but when you only have two hours a week and you have a lot of other stuff that needs doing it's just like not feasible because the appointments that I would want somebody to help me with that you know like I will have my mum come with me for those are ones where I either need sedation so I can't drive myself home driving to the county which is like a 45 minute one-way trip or like even if I go to my local hospital for, more, for like my rheumatology appointments, the last time I was there a couple of weeks ago, I think I was there for like nearly two hours and like an hour and a half of it, if not more, was literally just waiting for the appointment. You know, so like it, it's just not a good use of their time when I have so many other things that actively need doing to help me at home and with medical admin stuff. Like, I would like that option, but I can't give up those other things for, like, one appointment. And then, yeah, this other PA uh, is a bit further away, but she has really, really great skills that she mentioned in her profile that I think would really help me. Um, things like care coordination, patient advocacy, and uh, there was something else she said as well, I can't remember what it was. You know, I can't remember it was, but like stuff like that. And she says that she can work virtually as well, which would be quite ideal. So I'm, I'm still going to have a chat with her, but I don't know if or when. Oh, yeah, benefits, like helping with applying for benefits, which is like a big one. But yeah, I just don't know how that's going to go. I think some of it requires like evidencing how much I need doing. And you can only really do that when you finally got someone in place. But yeah, so I'm just still currently waiting for the go-ahead for the for this PA to start. Um, unfortunately for her, she's got a really, really, really big stack of medical admin papers to organise for me because I keep looking at the stack slash the box they're all in and just wanting to die. Yeah, so <laughs> like it's a really simple job. Like a lot of the things I need help with at home a lot of other people are just like quite simple uh, and not particularly difficult jobs to do and um, you get paid really well but because it's only two hours a week it's just a bit like no, not many people really want to do that so yeah we will see about that but that's one of the things that's been driving me crazy and like it's one of those moments again where everyone seems to be having just like a shit time so nobody is just sort of like around or available to just go somewhere or hang out or whatever you know or plan something so it's just a lot of me <laughs> me with myself and then also like it's gonna sound silly compared to other things but <sighs> main channel views are so 
so bad at the moment and I don't really understand why or how or what happened but you know I'm sort of at a point where most of my videos will get over 100 views and that's like that's just kind of it like some of them do a lot better some of them do sort of like a little bit better and then occasionally there'll be like a video that doesn't do very well and is like maybe around 50 views but at the moment they all seem to be just like getting stuck at 50 views i don't know why okay now i put out the dawson's creek video which i was confirmed wasn't going to be a particularly popular video considering the last video i did of that series didn't do very well which is why i stopped doing it i thought i would just give it another go because i was just i just wanted to watch through something familiar um and i was watching the first four seasons of it mostly for fun because obviously i'd already done those those videos so yeah i wasn't particularly surprised but then the next video also only like maybe got 50 views which was more of a medical video which usually do better but no that one didn't do very well either and then the one that went up this last week uh was another media analysis but an old private practice episode and i wasn't sure how that one would go because obviously like private practice hasn't I hasn't been filming for like over 10 years it stopped in 2013 but like you know it's a spin-off of like you know the popular Grey's Anatomy it's the same kind of vibe I do for other videos you know my my house one didn't do very well initially but okay like the views have crept up since I posted it like almost a year ago and part of me wonders is it because I started posting shorts again I was trying to post shorts again to try and boost <laughs> some something algorithmic i don't even really know <laughs> you know just to bring some more people to my channel to be more aware of like what i do on my like proper videos like this but like whilst those videos are doing pretty okay they're definitely not doing anywhere near the numbers that i would need for partner in that direction whereas like my main long form videos are like somewhere from 1.5 to 1.7 ish thousand uh watch hours uh in a year at the moment and i need to like just over double that to reach partner or whatever it's called technically finally and start earning anything <laughs> uh, like, i just i don't know <laughs> i don't know what to do i'm doing the same promotions as i usually do across all my social media mentioning it to my friends being like hello by the way, my views are not great right now and I'm sad. Please put me on in the background. <laughs> and then, uh, some of them do, bless them, thank you very much. Uh, hi Olive. That's not even a person, it's a dog. My friend Evie plays my videos for her dog when she goes out. <laughs> my biggest fan, Olive Dog. <laughs> but yeah, like, I just don't really know what happened there. And that was really disheartening when, you know, I felt like I was really getting somewhere and doing something right and like feeling like I'm achieving something um, and like I didn't I didn't even really f I don't feel any pressure to like you know get a thousand views for each video like I was honestly always happy if the views were over a hundred I definitely had gotten used to the views bumping up quite a lot on like either Friday night Saturday night or Sunday night that just hasn't happened yeah so so that was really saddening to be honest I have also been trying to, I was trying to get a restock of some of my sticker designs but my usual supplier was on holiday so I was having a look at what other options were out there and they were just like, it's the same problems I get everywhere else like customer service are f like fucking useless for the most part. The websites are terribly designed. And they just never say enough information um and also one of them required like my images to be really really like high quality whereas like i've occasionally printed <laughs> stickers that came up not great i think i just gave those out for free anyway because they were anti-toy stickers but like besides that one time <laughs> my stickers come out good like they're small stickers it's <laughs> it's hard to yeah so like it was really frustrating that they like required 
such like a high quality image when my images were just not that high quality but my stickers were still great like I just didn't like occasionally as well one of my issues is um struggling with like the, the bleed of stickers so some of my stickers you, you might see or buy uh that still have like quite a lot of white border and that's because I struggle working out where to place the words and stuff it on the main image to make it so that the bleed doesn't like cut off um words but like for the most part I don't really have any issues but um yeah I just wanted to do a restock so that I had more like more stickers that I was running low on um for some upcoming markets as well as like I this year mostly this year I think I might have done some last year too but like mostly this year I've been trying to put more focus into looking into researching finding um, like independent shops cafes bookshops queer spaces etc around the UK to um, see if they will stock my stickers or some of my artwork and like a few places have said yes it's so like those are the places that have like gotten back to me and said yes there's still a bunch of people who never got back to me last year and just ignored me a few from this year who have ignored me queer britain got back to me and said that unfortunately they bought you know their like their stock for the next few months but they will add me to their like contacts list or whatever it is and i was like that is completely fine i really understand that and i really appreciate you telling me and getting back to me and saying it's not a no no forever it's sort of just like a not right now because we're fully stocked kind of vibe which is great but yeah i've been using the back of my journal to write the shops down and a little bit about them so like this is like <laughs> the general gist and like how to contact them maybe a little bit about the shop i still need to actually contact the place that's literally near me but i keep forgetting this is why I need a PA to come start helping me with other other horrible medical admin things that my brain just cannot fucking cope with. There was also a PA who wanted to speak to me on the phone before meeting me in person. It's like, you have the advert, <laughs> which includes that I, uh, you would be helping me making phone calls. Um, and the whole point of meeting in person is to see how we get on. Um, and I don't really work with phone calls super well. I literally only do them if I have to for medical stuff, really. And like the auditory processing issues mixed with um, autism and struggling with the social social aspect of it. Phone calls are just shit for me. <laughs> I kind of want to, uh, like as well, the reason why I meet people in person to chat is like i want to see your like face and your responses as well um both because it helps helps me know how to communicate oh i wonder what that was we also have like we're all getting bitten by spiders no spider powers um and we have a shit ton of hornets here now so i hate it I've also been getting messed about by the specialist cardio people too. I was given an appointment um, for like mid-October, which I was like, what the fuck? Only three months from now, when I had to wait nearly two years to speak to anybody from cardio locally. And then they cancelled and gave me a new appointment for three more months in advance, which is six months. And I was like, that's kind of fucking annoying, but fine. And then they just cancelled it the other day, so I feel like they've just gone, um, we can't be asked with you, go fuck yourself, so, um, we need to call, somebody needs to call them and ask next week. I also am due, uh, the dentist in November, I just do yearly checkups. Like, they do reminders a month in advance, but they never have appointments <laughs> for a month ahead. It's like... You have to contact several months in advance, and even then, some of them are like, "You're yeah, yeah, contacting too early," and it's like, "Please." So a bit of faffing about with them, like they have a contact form that says, "You know, contact us to book an appointment, fill this in." So I did, and they were like, "Please ring us." I'm like, "No." <laughs> 
if you don't want people to fill in a contact form for an appointment, don't have a fucking contact form on your website that's specifically for booking appointments. Like, just don't do it. Just don't do it. I would have just asked somebody else to fucking call for me either that day or like th like this coming week. So don't, don't fuck me out. But in the end it was fine. We did sort an appointment, although it is now in early fucking December. So they just don't have any appointments, especially NHS ones, for ages. And I... I'm getting a bit worried about my teeth and gums still because I do keep getting really sore inflamed gum. Uh, my gums have always been kind of receded, receding. I'm a bit, I'm a bit unhappy with my teeth at the moment, particularly like the ones sort of here that you don't really see often, but you can see in like bigger smiles, like because you can see these ones a bit more. But because of the way the gums have receded around them, there's like quite a bit of discoloration and stuff. And uh, yeah, they make me feel sad. I was trying an at-home whitening thing, but um, in the UK, we don't have very strong at-home teeth whitening anything. I did try proper teeth whitening stuff from a dentist a few years ago, and that was shit too. Um, didn't really do anything. And now I've lost the upper teeth like kind of like a mouth guard so i can't even like use anything i might have had left because you're not supposed to let it rub like anywhere else inside your mouth i've been looking at comp like co comp compass composite bonding or something like that because of the receding gums and the discoloration that maybe i would be willing to pay some more money to get those put on my teeth up the top to like kind of cover it up but also like protect those bits because they do get quite sensitive at times so like both aesthetics but also like comfort they don't have that information on their website that from my local dentist that if they actually do composite com composite bond i don't know how to pronounce that at all and if places do it seems to be quite expensive but i don't know if that uh, counts for nhs patients if it's cheaper for nhs patients i have no idea so all that, what time is it? It is time for an ADHD film. Why do I always sit down to film videos? Like when my ADHD meds are gonna run out. Just like everything is shit. <laughs> A lot of the times, every time I feel like I see the light at the end of the tunnel or like, you know, we're finally, oh, one door closes, but another door opens. Or there's a window you can climb out of instead. You know, every time I think we're like getting to a solution slash resolution, something else or more things or like something else to do with that situation just continues to go wrong and I'm so tired and like I feel like it's also affecting my videos because I just don't even really know what to make my videos about because you know there were a few weeks where I didn't do any personal medical related videos because I just like could not I just could not with all the adult social care bullshit, with my back pain bullshit has been going on as well, as well as the prescription shit initially and then also cardiology stuff. I just like could not face making a video about any of those things and just wanted to make some media related things which were great and I loved making them and I did, you know, everything was fine. And then I did fucking Dawson's Creek and everything's gone to shit. And like there's like, there's not really much of a sh uh, sign showing that things are gonna change anytime soon you know it's like two weeks running they've sucked <laughs> views wise this week's not looking great so I, like you know I, and i'm trying to do different videos to see if it helps change what's been going on and so far it doesn't seem to be and like i don't really know what to sit and make videos about because like for the most part i script most of my videos now because otherwise I will just sit here and yap for like hours and hours and hours. So like even personal experience videos, uh, I sit and script at least like loosely. You know, a medical fiasco kind of appointments. It takes a lot more work for scripting anything to do with like media commentary stuff, especially if it's like a real thing that's happened. And there's a lot of things I want to talk about and want to approach, but like, you know, when I'm, when my views are suddenly just completely like, dropped the way they have recently 
I've tried different videos over the last few weeks and I'm not seeing any particular sign of anything improving. It just makes you feel a bit like, uh, I don't really like, know what to put my energy into when everything I try to put the energy into is still just flopping. Oh, flopping. So like, you know, I have, a, I have so many ideas, but a lot of them are kind of like niche TV programs or films that I don't think many people know or care about. You know, I feel like we have left a lot of like the old nostalgic TV shows behind now. You know, like I don't think I could make another Skins video that does well right now. I don't think I could make a Gilmore Girls video right now. Clearly I can't do a Dawson's Creek video. You know, those sorts of videos that I do enjoy doing of like older media are not really doing that well. And then like the niche but newer media doesn't do well because people don't know of the shows really. You know, there are, there are some really great shows I'd like to discuss the representation and stuff of Astrid Murder in Paris or uh, New Amsterdam, you know, things like that. But like New Amsterdam was cancelled and had like a really weird abrupt ending. So I don't think it had a big enough audience when it was on air. Um, and I don't think that was long ago either, so, uh, and I'd have to also spend that time re-watching the show, and then yeah, I don't think many people know of Astrid Murder in Paris, because it's, it's French, <laughs> it's captioned. <laughs> and then other things that I've been watching are honestly just like for general enjoyment, or like, honestly, I don't feel like I have anything more to say on them. Like, at the moment, me and my mum are, like, coming to the end of watching um little fires everywhere which is such an interesting and well put together tv show um and has some queer elements in it that i think are really interesting but like i just don't think i personally have anything good to, like interesting to say about them because i think part of the interest of that show in particular is the intersectionality sort of aspect of it you know that's just one example I also have just finished watching Fallout, although I might make a video on that. I don't really know. I don't know if I have enough to say of what I... Like, I just had a moment that blew my fucking mind when I was watching it. And um, I don't think it makes a... Like, the one point that blew my mind, I don't think is, like, a long-form video. <laughs> There's definitely some interesting moments and elements of eugenics, but I don't know if I even want to discuss that. Uh, as much but I don't know and like overall with all of these just like big and small things going wrong all the time at the moment like relentlessly <sighs> like I'm just at I'm just at the edge all the time even if I think oh I'm really relaxed or like I'm having a really good day actually I feel great and then suddenly something will happen and I'm just I lose my fucking shit I think last weekend I threw uh, a butter knife across the kitchen not at anybody, don't worry. We also threw butter across the kitchen. Um, yesterday, I was in such a state, my mum had to come home. <laughs> so I was just like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything anymore. I was saying to her, I was like, I just cannot do anything else. If I have to do anything else that has any margin for error, I will absolutely lose my shit. I still need to walk the dog and I don't want her to deal with you know, me being a shitty cunt right now, because she's a dog, <laughs> she doesn't understand, I don't want her to, you know, feel upset or on edge because of the state I'm in, and I don't want to take it out on her, you know, because I, like, my patience is th this thick, I don't want, I don't want to snap at her, and I've been snapping at my mum a lot more than normal, I mean, a lot more pain as well. You know, it's just like, I, I couldn't even make my fucking dinner. I've ruined, I've ruined an easy meal. And if I have to go and try to make something else, I, but I just can't. I know I can't. And it, yeah, so like, it's stuff from like all angles and I'm just exhausted. And whilst I am sleeping better at the moment, I'm just, I, ju I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> like, I just can't do things. Yeah, like, my main focus is, like, my main focus in is, like, trying to turn my art stuff into an actual business and my videos and trying to get my videos 
my channel to partner I've, like, I've basically dedicated myself to those two projects now because anytime I tried to do anything else I just felt too scatterbrained but especially with all this other just complete bullshit happening around me all the time I just like I, I, just, I can't do anything else I'm like still with this push to trying to move I've been trying to clear things out and I think I've been doing a good job. I did find stuff I needed for my holiday that I had no idea what the fuck they were. I'm going to be giving away a bunch of collaging materials at a market I'm doing on the 7th of September in London. So that means I now could carry on sorting through more collaging materials because I still have a bunch of magazines that haven't been ripped up and cut up and put in a box and then I've been giving that away to people we've been selling so many things on vintage and donating stuff and selling stuff on facebook marketplace you know kind of all in preparation both for like a holiday and for hopefully moving in a couple of years time uh oh the other thing as well is my my fucking face skin it decided i'm fucking allergic to a bunch of shit that i've been using for ages today it's now also whilst doing my hair i've burnt some of my fucking forehead luckily it's definitely not as like obvious as it was yesterday but like yeah na like my skin was like no you don't like this anymore go fuck yourself oh my god <laughs> but now today it's like actually it's fine you can use that again decided i was allergic to like the one cleanser i really liked so i've been trying to find a new fucking cleanser but also i'm allergic to basically everything else i've picked up so far I've had to return a, a Cetaphil, which is supposed to be like a proper dermatologist brand, like just brand, skincare brand. So I was like, maybe I'll try a micellar water. Like everyone was going on about a few years ago. Oh my God. Allergic, allergic to that. So now I'm trying to see if it will help if I use it on my armpits instead. <laughs> Cause like I did at least get to return the Cetaphil. However, I was sort of like, Mm, this might be good as like an underarm cleanser to keep the smell away between washing oh my god so at the moment the one cleanser that isn't pissing me off is literally just the old simple cleanser i gave this to my mum ages ago luckily she doesn't use it very much i did give her two because another one i bought a while ago i was also allergic to so i can <laughs> Also just dealing with my skin, just like, just not fucking cooperating with shit. Still trying to find the perfect sunscreen for like my face that doesn't cause an allergic reaction or doesn't cause my eyes to cry because like a lot of UV screens or whatever the fuck are eye irritants. But a lot of mineral based shit <sighs> makes it like a ghost or it peels off, it's disgusting. I can't remember what I was talking about now before like before I got mad about my skin. I'll be making a video in like the next few weeks probably about my lower back pain problems because that has been some bullshit as well. But like that's a major issue. It just makes me really uncomfortable generally but also makes it hard for me to sleep. The heat makes it hard to want to eat anyway. I mean I already struggle. I'm pretty sure I have arthid. And there's no support services for ARFID and even if there were the only things they're planning to fucking provide people is CBT and exposure therapy I'm not really sure how that helps but especially when most people with ARFID are autistic and most autistic people do not respond well to CBT you know use your brains guys can you like so battling ARFID <laughs> whilst I also have Crohn's <laughs> and it's also hot so I don't really want to eat because it's hot balls on lungs and I've got pots or like you know not pots but not pots this autonomia of some kind which means if I don't eat and it's hot I'm more likely to have bad symptoms of like dizziness and vertigo and pre-syncope and shit like that contradicting medical needs I just don't really know what to make I usually get the same few people leaving comments which I love I love seeing my regulars but you know a lot of a lot of love you guys Whenever I say like, oh, what do, what do people want to see me make? Kind of either say like, oh, whatever you want to make, 
which thank you i love that i appreciate that however the algorithm is angry with me so i don't think that will help or uh, the same requests are like Night at First Sight and Dawson's Creek and clearly neither of those are doing well either because um yeah my last maths video didn't do great the UK maths seems to do okay the Australian one does not which I don't understand I don't really know how to make things better when I don't have support in an ideal world I would also have like a work PA through like access to work but also the thought of doing access to work makes me want to I. I've looked into it again recently and it just looks awful. I don't think I have the will and like you know all of my accounts are a state for this like <laughs> the last six months so I don't know what my earnings even look like over that time and then there's also a lot of expenses that I need to put in like travel and buying products I need. I also need to get some more fucking business cards. I don't have many business cards left. Um, people love to take my business cards and they never come buy from me online. <laughs> All of the other things to boost uh, an art business just don't really make sense to where I'm at, at really, because you know I, I mainly sell through either Depop or just literally my Instagram, so I don't get many online sales for like an on like a, my own online shop to be like to make sense they're not cheap really to run um to be fair i was gonna look into what is it shopify i think i briefly looked into it but it still required quite a lot of like fees and shit and looks a bit daunting basically but yeah I, that's just where i'm at i usually find that if i make a little video where i'm complaining about how mentally ill i am slash feel <laughs> sometimes things feel a bit better or like people who take a little bit of mercy on me um uh, at least I might feel a bit better anyway for getting it all off my chest in one go. Oh, also, I'm still getting horrific spam phone calls. Like, literally just for months, at least two months, spam calls that if I decline them, there's like an auto-redial. So I end up having to decline like six to nine, sometimes more, phone calls like in one sitting sometimes i'll have like over 50 calls in a day sometimes it's like 20 calls literally in an hour um if i do answer a lot of the times they just hang up and they just get new numbers if i block them so i like i have basically all of aberdeen and liverpool fucking blocked now <laughs> so that's also really frustrating because i could possibly be missing important phone calls and not know it because I just am not answering any phone numbers I don't recognise or from areas that I don't know which isn't helpful um, so like yeah and obviously as well on top of all that the UK had lots of racists trying to riot for like a, a week and a half <laughs> hopefully that's over and obviously other things in the world that are horrible and suck like the numerous genocides around the world they're just not you know aren't great and aren't stopping and we're like especially for gaza the most recent you know ceasefire rah rah rahs started october 7th and we're nearly there <laughs> we're like a month and a half away from being a year since that and um they've already been under occupation for like 75 years my granddad is older than israel <laughs> So yeah, you know, besides obviously all the so somewhat more petty life stuff, personal life stuff, there's also obviously the horrific shit happening out in the world. Also, I I did look up how to pronounce her name, so it, I hope it's correct, Iman, um, the boxer from Algeria, um, I hope you take every bitch to court. I, I honestly don't give a shit if you're transphobic, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. Whether you're transphobic or not, you are doing a service to trans people all over the world, to be honest, by suing people for all of this transphobic bullshit towards you. So, the one light of the tunnel recently, you know? I just feel overwhelmed and insane just all the time, which is so ironic seeing as I spent six months in a mental health course supposed to help me not feel like this all the time 
but it, I feel worse. <laughs> and that's something I'd like to get into at some point, but again, I don't know how to even put put that whole thing into fucking words. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> no, I'm not. I numb my feelings until I explode. I'm gonna go see what my mum's doing. <laughs> see if I can help her. Maybe I'll pat my dog. Yeah. Uh, hello. Goodbye. I'm insane. <laughs> Do you really want to help me feel better? Please help me with my main channel videos and their views because I don't know why they're not doing well. I don't make me sad because I haven't done anything differently, I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, please go watch some of my some of my low low view videos, please. I mean any videos generally would be great because watch time is watch time. But like yeah. And if you want me to know which things you want to see more of, you can leave a comment under this video or you can go and comment on the other videos that you like and be like yeah i want more of this please just so i know what to do with myself because i just really don't i just really don't anymore that's it for this week and i'll see you next week bye i don't have to turn this off now it's facing the other way bye